in Sweden what we see is an increasing demand of computing power because the researchers are producing more data and our infrastructures are producing more data with the new technologies that they've developed. We have high resolution data. Researchers in life science are using instruments that are also producing big amounts of data and all these needs more computing cycles and computing power. So the Euro HPC is a part of the European HPC strategy and it's a way to implement the strategy where we will actually meet the researcher demands to give them the computing cycles and the computing power that they need to analyze data and produce more excellent research.